British Bobbies are used to standing tall because of their distinctive hats. These traditional police helmets are almost a foot high. That added height can't hurt when you're staring down a bad guy. Bobby's helmets have looked the same way for a century and a half. Today, hat makers use a metal mold to create that signature shape in fortified plastic. The mold descends into an oven. A worker places a sheet of plastic overhead. He lowers the lid and slides a heated cover over it. It takes a couple of minutes for the heat to soften the plastic. The mold rises. A vacuum below pulls the plastic into shape. It hardens almost instantly. A firm tap with a rubber mallet releases the shell from the mold. A bandsaw slices away the excess plastic along the brim. And now the helmet is ready to be covered. For that, the factory uses water repellent wool. The helmet pattern is cut out in two pieces. These halves are stitched together, making a raised seam, which gives the helmet a smoother line. The insides of the fabric covers are covered with glue. Then they're steamed. A coating of glue is brushed all over the helmet shell. The fabric cover has now reached the perfect dampness, making it easier to pull over the glued surface of the plastic helmet shell. The fabric gets stretched a bit so it'll fit tightly without buckling. Then, a wooden tool is used to smooth away any remaining air bubbles. The excess fabric is trimmed away. Then, rubber piping is sewn around the brim to reinforce it and give it a neater edge. The prong ends of the helmet's decorative metalwork are dipped in a chalky powder, which mark its positioning on the crown. Holes are drilled through the markings. Then the ornament is installed and its prongs are folded against the inside of the helmet. Next, workers stitch together strips of tape, plastic and foam to make the helmet's harness and chin strap. They fit the harness assembly inside the helmet, then secure it with an industrial stapler. Metal banding is wrapped around the helmet and pinned down. Not only does this banding hide the staples, it gives the helmet a snazzier look. An ornate helmet plate featuring the police department's insignia goes on the front. Next, a sponge liner is tucked inside the helmet to protect the officer in the event of a blow to the head. Ventilation holes are punched in the sides. Now it's time to size the helmet with a special gauge. Any excess fluff is tweezed away, and the wool is brushed to bring up the pile. Finally, workers attach the label that assures the product meets all specifications. This police helmet is now ready to report for duty. It takes about half an hour to make one of these helmets but it should keep a bobby on the beat safe and stylish for much, much longer.